Hi there, my name is Nigel and welcome to my YouTube channel, Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. Before I show you downtown Niagara Falls, I just want to remind you of a few things the Government of Ontario is asking from us. So here's a quick reminder of what we should be doing. Just quickly scroll past this bit and here we go. The first thing, everyone can make stage three a success by maintaining physical distancing of at least two meters from people outside of your household or social circle. Wearing a face covering indoor and outdoor public spaces where physical distancing is a challenge. Keep that in mind. Limiting outdoor gatherings to a maximum of 100 people or less to maintain physical distancing. Plus, minimizing travel and self-isolate for 14 days after international travel. People gathering indoors for religious services, rites or ceremonies and wedding ceremonies or funeral services can continue to fill up to 30% of the capacity of the particular room. And finally, we were told new measures will be put in place to help control the crowds in Niagara Falls. Mayor Jim Diardi announced a new Crush the Curve ambassador campaign featuring employees dressed in bright lime green. I didn't see any of them. All right, let's check out the so-called physical distancing. Is this such a thing here in Niagara Falls on a Saturday night and holiday weekend as physical distancing? You don't have to wear a mask when you're outdoors, but it's advised, but we want to see if people are actually physically distancing, so let's go. Oh, it's uh, crazy busy down here, uncomfortably busy. Uh, right behind me is the uh, Rainforest Cafe where employees are no longer allowed to wear uh, face visors for protection as PPE. They can wear a mask, but they can't wear a visor which comes over the face. Right in this place here, apparently they know better than the health officials. I feel sorry for that person who uh, got sent home and hopefully she'll sue them because they actually deserve to.
All right, coming up on the floor very shortly, you'll see the uh, two meter markings, uh, which define uh, how much space there should be between uh, one another. And you can quite clearly see people just standing over them and in between them and so on. So they're not even really noticed, have they? Welcome to COVID Central. Now, this place blows my mind that it's open because I was under the impression amusement arcades are not meant to be open. For certain reasons, because a lot of touch points in an amusement arcade, because no one's cleaning this shit in this place. Uh, for those of you who don't know, coronavirus is actually uh, spread by droplets. And those droplets can be put on surfaces like that, which people are repetitively touching and then touching themselves. And there's no one in there cleaning any of the uh, machines in there. So that is a danger, huge danger. I'm more concerned about that than people milling around, to be honest. On the floor is the uh, six foot markings and no one's, I don't think anyone's seen them to be quite honest. Ah, the wonderful Niagara Speedway. Closed because three people here tested positive for COVID. That's why it's closed. Yeah, every 30 minutes in Niagara Falls, I'm heading out. It's 10.45, I've had enough. It's too busy for my liking, so I'm out of here. There we are, away from it all. Slightly out of breath, because it is warm. All right, what I want to say is with this, so many mixed messages, so much confusion. We have a government that says, do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. You can't have a wedding and have loads of guests. You can't have a funeral and have a load of guests. You can't have a group of people go and see a family member. But apparently it's quite okay to converge into an area like this. And I see no evidence whatsoever from Niagara Falls to say that they've implemented and made sure people are safe. Apart from a couple of things on the ground, there's nothing. You can clearly see on the video, there is nothing telling people to separate. There's no social distancing whatsoever. This has nothing to do with wearing masks. Though when you can't social distance, you should wear a mask. But this is to do with the fact that no one is social distancing. But for some reason, it's okay in Niagara Falls, but it's not okay when you're in a grocery store. It's not okay if you go to a funeral. It's not okay if you go to a wedding. And it's not okay in many, many other matters too. But that is okay, and that is freaking wrong.